counting. What you're doing is you're counting not every year you count the number of appointees, forgetting that every ambassador serves for three years. And so any one year may go this, and, but you have to count, if you count the number of chiefs of mission serving or nominated by the President of the United States, right now it's 69% career, you're wrong. Secondly, I think you're also confusing data on the, civil, the growth of the civil service. This has not been something that we have undertaken. I think you have to look back to the late 1999s and the merger of ACTA and USIA and the State Department, which changed the numbers against the 1972 base that is in the report that you referenced. We have to take into account the reorganization of the foreign affairs, which I think was right in bringing ACTA and USIA into the system. Also, the Schedule C number, uh, sorry, the, the uh, number you use for SCA is incorrect because that includes huge numbers of temporary employees who are serving in Afghanistan and Pakistan. So the data is simply wrong. The themes, many of the themes in, in the report that you cite, I fully agree with. I think it is incredibly important that we improve the education and training, and Nancy McEldowney and I are working on that. But I submit the data is wrong. The Schedule Bs, I'll be glad to get you those numbers, and I am unaware of a single Schedule B who is converted through the, uh, through the career process. Sir, now let's go to the other side. Sir, I'm uh, Dave Jones. I retired uh, political officer. I was quite impressed by the amount of uh, construction that's uh, going on overseas. I wondered if you 